Why you allow her to uh, make her name hot, sexy mama? <laughs> oh, man, she having a midlife crisis, man. <laughs> no, have to be my daughter, life. My daughter, I didn't know you could even do that. So one day I was driving and I asked Siri how to get somewhere. Like, right. You know how you talk to Siri, mm -hmm. and she said, "Okay, fat ass." And I was like, hey, "Yo, I was like, who the fuck? How the fuck?" So and my daughter just bust out laughing. I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "How did you do that?" So she showed me how to do it. And I was like, "I'm hot, sexy mama." So I changed the hot, sexy mama. So. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and jump right into it, man. Welcome, of course, this is the Quicksilver Show. <laughs> with Dominique the Demon, we're here with the only hot, sexy mama. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're here with the Flockers. Flockers. Well, <laughs> Do you ever refer to yourself as the Flockers? No. No. No, it's Flocker. <laughs> no. Hey, Tammy and Walker, man, welcome to the show. How are y'all doing? Can't complain. We're doing good, man. Good. Pandemic, we're gearing pandemic. Up. What is it? A band? Pandemic. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I know that's right. We're gearing up for season two. Waka and Tammy, what the flock of family secrets that make you go? Hmm. <laughs> what the flock of <laughs> big ups to y'all for even being up to letting us into your life, letting these cameras in there because we all have family secrets and family drama. We were just talking about this with the whole Kirk Franklin thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes they can take you all the way there. No one can take you there like family. How do you guys deal with that in the camera rolling? It's uh, it's different. I mean, especially when you have your own show, because like before we was on, you know, ensemble cast. So, right, it, right, you know, right. they only want certain drama. So this is all our life, you know, in our in our business up and close and personal. First season was the hardest because it's like, OK, y'all here. <laughs> what are we about to do that's so exciting you know but it's like everything that we you know we just who we are so everything that we think is normal the camera's like oh my god that was so funny we like okay <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, right right so now we just used to it and this season charlie's a charlie was a way lot um more comfortable she's right. way more comfortable and she she we did her kinsei uh so she turned 15 but she's now she's about to turn 16 so that was wow. like yeah in july oh. um so it's just like, you know, us parenting and bringing up Charlie and it's... And Charlie run the show. She actually carried the season. She I think she did too. Always, Even last the season princess when is I... always the boss, no matter what. <laughs> when she went and got her hair done and you went to the game and I'm just like, what is he doing? Now, you know, we see you at the game. We can see you, sir. At the, exactly. We can exactly. see you at the game. Yeah, she Photoshop, she, she nah, finessed them go. all the time, though. She mm -hmm. always finessed them. I love that dynamic because, you know, I was raised by um, someone who was it my father, but he is right. my father. You know what I mean? Since right, I was right. four years old and we kind of have a relationship wow. similar. And it's just like, dad, I'm asking you because I can get away with it. She, he always was saving me for my mom. Like, you know, that moment where your life flashed before your eyes, right before the backhand come and slap you. Yeah. In the face. He was <laughs> yeah. always there to save me. So I'm so glad that, you know, black, we can watch our family we can watch something that's so relatable is there anything that you guys are sharing this season that might be like a shocker or a surprise or like a lot. We, get exclu no, we, we need the exclusive give us the exclusive come on it, it's Tammy. definitely it's definitely a lot it's a lot um that i think a lot of people i, I think a lot of people are going to be more um they're going to be shocked at how open because charlie er, anybody who follows us or knows us they know charlie is not with none of the tv shit stuff <laughs> sorry she's not with none good, of the tv stuff. she's not She's not with none of the um, celebrity. I'm this. She's just who she is. She's not. That yeah. is so be yeah, she stand, she? And this season, yeah, she has her friends. Like I said, she's turning sixteen. I mean, fifteen. So I don't know if you guys, right. you guys ever heard of a quinceanera. Yeah. So she's having her kinsey, the becoming of a woman, and um, and it's definitely you know a lot of people don't know that my father's from Nicaragua, so they don't know that I'm you know half Latina. A lot of people don't know that, um, and uh, that I still you know you, try you to celebrate. They don't, I can see that. And yeah, everybody knows she's from Baltimore. Signed. Like, she's from Baltimore. That's all we know. She's from Baltimore. Well, that's all, exactly. That's all they said. You know, First you know. time they was going to be like, uh, I think she missed what everybody say. Indian. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, she got some. She, she got some. Baltimore in point blank, period. That, that period. So, um, yeah. So I'm letting Charlie experience because I didn't get the chance to have a king say. So I'm letting Charlie um, experience that. And, and, and she's way more into the culture than, than I was growing up. Um, so it's the definitely, it's definitely. It's different because we've never raised a, a teenager before and shit. We still young ourselves. So, yeah, I'm so you know? afraid of my daughter asking to get past the age of eight because right now she's at the age where boys are still stinky. So I yeah. love the fact that daddy's oh. the king, boys are stinky. I, I, I yeah. want no parts of a teenager. Waka, I'm praying for you right now. 
That stinky stuff go go right out the window, man. No, it's, oh, no, it, no, it, no, no. I'm telling you, it's, no. it's I always tell Ashton, let me know when you no. like the smell. No, <laughs> when you start no. like, <laughs> Rock and Tim, we're not going to mess up my day talking about my princess. She's eight and all boys are snaky except for dad. Now, here's a, here's a random question. I get asked this question a lot, but for both of you guys, um, and you can answer either way, uh, Walker first or Tammy first. How did you know she was the one and he was the one? Like, how did you know, like, this is the one that I'm going to settle down with and this is going to be my wife, my husband. This is the one. Um, shit, I knew the first day. How? I, I don't know, man. I'm, I, I'm serious, like. I know I wasn't high. I know I, I wasn't drunk. Was I I'm telling you, high. when I seen Tammy, it was just like, it was on South Beach. I'm telling you, it was like a, a, thousands of people out there. It was. And I just seen her. And I'm telling you, I, I promise you, I promise you. Someone was like, yo, that's your wife. You need to marry her. He said and it. I just grabbed her. I'm like, hey, I'm going to marry you, baby. Yeah, I was like, put your on my damn face. He was right. like, what was the reaction, Tammy? Well, you crazy. <laughs> I, th- I did because he was like, you gonna, he was so serious. He's like, you're going to be my wife. Like, God, tell me I got to, like, I'm telling you, like, you my wife. And I was like, nigga, you don't even know me. Walking, was she <laughs> blushing? Was she like, she will you have stop? <laughs> she said, like, no, I was like, kind of like, what? I was like, you, I thought he was high. Right. I thought he was high. Like, I was like, you knew he was. You knew he was, though. Yeah, I knew he was. Oh, okay, gotcha. But I, I, my, it was, it's funny because my best friend, shout out to Danielle. From Baltimore, mm, she, she uh, she was with me, and she loved Walker. She had his posters, and she was like, "Girl, I just love him. He's just so good, and he's so fine." I was like, "Why do you like him?" And I didn't, I didn't like light skin guys. So <laughs> that's okay. a he red. <laughs> nah. So I was like, I don't see it. And then we literally ran into him, like literally, it was crazy. So how would you know, Tammy? At what point did you say, you know what, I'm going to take this guy serious and make him my one? When she moved it. Yeah, when I moved, when I moved to Georgia. Uh, yeah. Probably like six months later, I moved, I moved to Georgia. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. Sometimes you three. just fall in love like that. It, it, it was three months. It wasn't three, three months. months. It was like six. It was three I three argue, months. man. So Y'all sound like a married couple. No I, yeah, because and Girl, I love him guys on marriage boot camp. And again, just the re- relating to each other. I love when he'd be like, look, stop talking to me like that. You need to bring it down. Man, soft man. Man. Everybody kept saying, that's the bottom line here when I kept saying, oh, when I was talking soft, you ain't respect it. Right. <laughs> so you got to turn it up. But I think it's important for us to see that. Do you guys agree with this? Because I saw it earlier. It was saying like, it's a difference between going through things together because you're going to go through things together. There's Absolutely. a difference between going through things together and somebody, you know, and, and put and being put through things and I think that if you guys always come at an angle where it's okay it's this issue against us and not us against each other um is that something you have to continuously remind you guys remind yourselves that while the cameras are rolling it's not just the cameras Damn, for us it's the I real life yeah it, for me it's the real life um real life. I feel like friendship becomes over top of anything so I always tell him she hates when I talk like that. Like, regardless if we be together today or tomorrow, I still, this is still my homie. Like, it's still going to be my friend. Like, I just, I'm cut from a different cloth and I'm built off of, you know, some loyalty. So no matter what, I don't care. Like, we will always be cool. I'm never going to see him fail. And hopefully he feels the same way about me, yeah. even if we're together nah. or not. Nah. <laughs> Walker loves you. He always hits me like, Wait, you, know, you leave me, that. you. <laughs> well seriously man once again if you just turn into the show we're talking to Waka and Tammy what the flock of the Waka and Tammy show comes on this Thursday at 8 or 9 this at Thursday. um 9 p.m 8 9 central p.m. don't you want to have one of these there's nephew oh, Cash stepping in that's little nephew your baby yes so say hi cute. Cash say have one have one how do you deal with the pressure because I saw last <laughs> season they like have a baby. They act like it's so simple, like it's right. three months. Girl, and- just have more kids, Walk and Tammy tonight. Leave it in, Walk is leaving it in. Nah, you know what, though, honestly? Man, we get to that point with that bag growing. Man, mm-hmm. we want to travel, man. Nobody want to carry no baby around and travel. And Charlie said she's not babysitting. Right, oh, my right. God, it's a lot. It is she a said, lot. I'm, I she's like, I'm not babysitting, Mommy. That's not my responsibility. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Charlie's not going to babysit? She, that's what she said. She's like, oh, if y'all, she's like, she told us, we, she said, y'all way too late. I'm going to be living my best life. Like, I'm about to be 16 and like, I'm not about to be in the house babysitting. I'm like, girl, who are you talking to? Okay. I'm about to be 16. I told you, the princess <laughs> right, is like, always that's so the big. boss. Walker and Tammy, the princess is always the boss. I got a son and a daughter, but Ashton, she is hands down. She runs the house. She runs the marriage. She runs everything. Everything. That's how it be. I'm trying she to says no, you. it's a no. If she says yes, it's a go no matter what. Well, Walker's <laughs> mom is serious. It seems like she's serious about having her some, some grandbabies. Yeah. She, she needs to have some grandbabies then. 
She got a little boy. Your mama busy, man. She she working, working too. My point is that she wants you to have a kid. Man. Right. And then she wants you to cook. I said, girl, I don't know what you want me. My head in the pot, my, my booty up in the air. I don't know what she wants me. <laughs> what was hey Walker? What Both. was your mom's first reaction when, when you told her Tammy's the one? She didn't like she me. Didn't like <laughs> really? Why come on? Why did you soften her up? Why? Why? Me and I've been getting along for like two years. Why not? I didn't. Uh, I guess, uh, because we're both headstrong, you know. Um, you know, we like you said, I'm from Baltimore, so I have a very strong. Like you know, people say that we are Baltimore women are aggressive, mm -hmm. and Deb is definitely aggressive. Deb is aggressive. Um, we can tell. And that. we just, you know, we just didn't, we didn't click. I wasn't disrespectful, you know, or anything like that. But we just, I wasn't a, I wasn't, I don't know how to kiss booty, so I wasn't gonna be like, oh, you know, I was who I am. It's like. And she don't kiss butt either. So eventually we had to sit down and I was like, look. And I told her how I felt and she told me how she felt. And then from that day forward, we couldn't buy telling nothing about me. That's love. That's love. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. That's like a, 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 a story in itself and a whole nother Man, spin -off. I, I can tell you some story. Coming, Here comes the spinoff. Walk I'm up. telling you, because he was the one, he was the one who was catching the wrath. He the one who had to go through it. Like when we got into it, he was in the middle. And he, it, you know, who wants to be in between their wife and their mom? That's mm. a tough position to be in, Walker. That's a fucked up position. <laughs> well, I can say, say what it is, man. You, you use the correct terminology. That shit is crazy. Right. I'm Look. telling you. It was. So with this season, uh, how does it grow with your relationship, uh, you know, with your mother-in-law? Well, we, I don't think we can get any closer than what we already are. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, I'll go to her. Me and Deb will go to each other about, you know, stuff before we would talk to him. Like, me and Deb have our own relationship. Why are you rubbing on me? Yeah, keep, rubbing, <laughs> keep rubbing me, trying to get that mood right so that when this camera off, you know what time it is. You know what I'm Yeah, we got a whole got we, got about, we got about 10 more uh, Zoom calls. <laughs> like I said, all I need is a good three minutes in between. And it's a go, right? <laughs> See, that is just trifling. <laughs> that is just, and y'all be dead serious, too. <laughs> Hey, like, come on, let's be real. We all adults here. Like, we all want that long, you know, like, but sometimes them quickies, them quickies hit different. It's the morning time for me. That's exactly. too, that's too much. <laughs> you said I like too sleep. much. I that's love it. to sleep. I hate being woken up out my sleep. Don't touch me. Mm. I would mm. prefer to be woken up. Really? Yeah, just poke me. Just let me know. And then I'm gonna go back to that's sleep. And that's why, and that's why the baby, and that's why the baby is right there right, right. now. Because I, I like that because I could be lazy, Tammy. I could just be a starfish. Let's no, let me brush my teeth. Let me get up. Like, let this, me get the bushes out my family eye. on here, I just did that to Ashley this morning. That ass, she was asleep. I know. And she, I don't like, she, like, she, been, no, I, you know how they sleep you walking, a little and then they bend over. Side, push it up. You're like, oh, 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 oh. You gotta, oh, you gotta <laughs> stop. Let me, let me go. I had to catch you this morning. <laughs> me, I had to catch Tammy this morning, man. Hey, Don't good, good job, Walk. Good job. Once again, man, we talking to Walker and Tammy. Real quick, let's switch gears for a second. And once again, if we get you personal, you can be like quick and deep with y'all bugging, hang up on us. It's cool. Of course, I know in the past y'all had y'all issues and y'all worked through them and they, they were in the public eye. Uh, we were all surprised uh, at Walker because black men don't cheat. So we were super surprised about that happening. Uh, but <laughs> I, remember, uh, I remember a term uh, went trending and it said, uh, Walker said cheating made her better. And, and that, was, that was like the headline on all the blogs. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? I'm gonna come to you in a second, Tammy. But what do you mean, Walker? By you feel like cheating made her better when you got caught cheating? No, see, that's the headline they ran. You with. said right. it. that right. wasn't like you the, said, the you vocal said, you know, you focus said, point of the. Um, you said that though. Other conversation. Let me clear. You, you said that though, Walker. You said no, that. You said, now, out your mind. When I say that, I, I was meaning in a way where it came from the perspective of this. She actually made her as a woman. It made her feelings colder and stronger. Mm -hmm. And made her to the point where, like, can't nothing break her. Because what, 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 what reality and society showed us, when women and uh, men go through this, it, it breaks the woman. She started being rebellious. She started showing too much. She started doing too much. But I watched Tammy take that shit. I watched Tammy take that shit mm -hmm. and flip it into some, you know, some, I'm not even about to let him or this situation break me down. I'm about to evolve into this superstar. And I think that turned Tammy, that's when Tammy clicked a million, a uh, company start blowing up. She basically like hides man stiff on me. Like it ain't F you, it's like, if you can't catch up it, then it is what it is. I understand. Tammy, hold on, hold on. That, Tammy's face is saying something completely different right now, Tammy. You no, know? I mean, I, I agree to him to a certain extent. It's just, I do feel like, I mean, it has made me, I don't know if it's better, but cause in time you, you're gonna go through things and you're gonna get tougher skin mm -hmm. anyway. But for him, I don't think it helped 
him, it might've made me a little bit more tougher, stronger, and a lot more um, uh, on the defense. But for him, I think it made things harder. It made things harder for him um, in the long run. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I I, like, ain't much that can, ain't much that can really, uh, no, not even just a marriage, not a man, not a, not a, not a, not a, not nothing in life really that can really break me. I've been through a lot. I don't, so, mm-hmm. and you know, one day my story will be told, but. I was going to ask you about that. Are you going to write a book about it? I am. I just, there's certain things I'm not ready to talk about yet. Yeah. But once I get to that stage where I'm, you know, when you write a, if you're going to tell your story, you got to tell it 100% in truth. And sometimes your truth will hurt other people because, yeah. you know, that's, a part of life right. and some people probably not gonna like the things that i'm gonna say don't but... hurt me right. <laughs> don't hurt him. nice guy but i understand they took that headline and got around with it, it but about me it really is uh yeah. i guess also walk is speaking to like you know how sometimes after a breakup homegirl might glow up you know what i'm saying she might be on her like he said the hasman on him and really you know boss up so i think that's what the, you were saying there and that headline just kind of ran off the that's yeah the, that's yeah blogs do. you know how blogs are you look for that but one you know it's clickbait clickbait exactly and being able to you know identify clickbait and you know still stay strong in your relationship Hello, you want to talk you got a question for walking tammy go ahead nephew say i need a playmate he is so cute. He really trying to get you, you pregnant tonight, right? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> but, uh, All right. And, we and just wanted to know Go ahead. any Tammy. secrets before the season premiere this Thursday and every Thursday, right? Yep, every Thursday uh, from this Thursday out. Mm-hmm. You just gotta watch. There's a lot of. I think it's gonna be some things that people are gonna definitely be shocked about. Mm-hmm. Um, Hell, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> what? But I'm I think- so proud of you and the way that you were able to be so honest about look I wasn't trying to do this rap thing particularly forever ever and I'm just showing other people other paths to success and how to flip that and reinvent yourself because people act like that's not possible sometimes that's what I like to see from you what else are you showing some young brothers this this uh season just how maybe to conduct, like how to conduct yourself mm-hmm. how to handle certain situations uh just from that uh point of view like season three is when we dive into the business. Gotcha. Who we who we are today. That see, that's what we haven't showed. Yeah. We, right, right. Kind of people that are trying to show it, but you get to a point you gotta be like, all right, it's time. Dive to more into the business. I think first season that we dive more. I, 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 one thing I did love about the first season was I was able to go back and show people like, you know, where I come from and how, you know, like because a lot of people they don't, you know, from loving hip hop, they only saw, oh, Tammy and Walker and their relationship. They didn't know who I was, what I am, where Your I come identity. From. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I think this season was able for people to know, like, you know, how I grew up and where I come from. Got you. Hey, Tammy, for any woman that's watching or listening right now, and she is going through what you went through, of course, uh, with an infidelity issue, and, and she's trying to figure out, like, how do I move past that? How do I get through this? Um, mm-hmm. What would Tammy say right now to a uh, young lady that's watching right now? I could. How the hell you can I? Let Tammy answer first, Walker. <laughs> I, this, he is asked, her, this is her question. Like, this is for the ladies that's watching and listening. Like, how did Tammy get through this? Like, this was in the public eye. Ah, I played a lot of like Beyonce lemonade. But I always say, <laughs> real quick before you answer, I always say it's a difference between when someone gets caught or jammed up, but when it's in the public eye and now it's public opinion. Sometimes right. it's like the old saying, don't embarrass me as long as everybody else don't know. Uh, when people no. find out like that, how does that, how does that, how do you get through that? I think in most, I think you really can't worry about what nobody else do because the more you worry about everybody else the more you you're 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 gonna lose your own sanity Mm -hmm. trying to keep up with everybody else got going on for me what helped me get through it besides the fact i had to realize that it's not me Mm -hmm. it's him that's his issue that's his problem like that's what i had to tell myself like you're ain't nothing and he told me himself like you're it's nothing you're perfect i'm the one that's you know whatever once i got to that point then i just threw myself inside my work because like Beyonce said, your best revenge is your paper. So I took all of that anger and hurt. You can't sit and dwell on something too long. Right. You got to give God, let God deal with it. And then you ask God to give you the strength to be able to, you know, move on. Um, it's not even just about infidelity. A lot of people don't understand when you go through challenges in marriage or whatever. I, I don't 
infidelity is definitely a, a big problem, but sometimes it's more of a spiritual battle. And a lot, and a lot of things, when you go through, if people don't know, if you're going through a spiritual va- battle, then all of those things are connected. You might have your children out of control. You might have your husband doing crazy wild stuff. You might have, you, you just getting attacked from different angles. Right. So um, it's not just about infidelities, but it's, you know, sometimes when I say spiritual battle, a lot of people can't identify or know how to, how to relate on that level. Um, so, they know, only so. can meet you where they at. Come on, they man. only can meet you where they at. Oh, come on, come now. on, sis. <laughs> preacher, over there preaching. And once again, why could we were a surprise? Because you know, we black men don't cheat normally. So we anyway, cheat. you know what? Okay, you know what? So uh, <laughs> this Thursday, this Thursday, <laughs> nine p.m. We TV, correct? Yes, yes. We TV. Mm-hmm. yes. You know what though? Speaking of black men, right, mm-hmm. and woman, I remember when your wife came when she checked you on the radio. I was in. <laughs> Here. <laughs> my wife don't play and she will <laughs> and I'm like, that is so evil of her people <laughs> right. like it's a different breed and and I, I salute men like myself men like walker uh men like kevin hall like all of us will smith with jada like when a baltimore chick is just different like it's just it's a different breed i think because the Good stigma the stigma when you hear baltimore is like oh my god baltimore hood ghetto blah 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 but like there's amazing women, Tammy, Ashley. But I mean, it's amazing women that's born and raised yeah. in Baltimore. They still is. made it worldwide. And uh, Tammy, but, but but you never lose that that mm, if that makes sense. No, you don't. You don't. And I know you know something about VA. Well, I'm from Richmond and seven five seven. Yeah, so, you know, um, say no fuck all day. Seven yeah. five seven. <laughs> don't take so no of, shit either. <laughs> all of my family is from Norfolk. Like my okay. mom, my you sisters, know. my aunts, my auntie. My auntie moved to Baltimore years ago. My mom would come when she was a girl back and forth to Baltimore, to Virginia, when she was, for the summer, she would come to Baltimore when she was like nine and 10. So eventually my mom moved to Baltimore when I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. So I used to go to Virginia for the summer. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) But Baltimore raised, streets raised me, but I know VA because all my family's there. So I always say like, you know, that's just my home too. Like, Yeah, when (laughs) when you, uh, when Love and Hip Hop first came out, everybody was like, oh, she from 757. I was like, no, I thought it was Baltimore. So I understand. Same thing with me. I'm from Richmond, but I spent my summers in Portsmouth in 757 Northland area. So I definitely get it. And it's definitely no surprise us seeing you check Walker and and Walker going back and forth. And I just think it's so amazing. I hope you guys continue to to do this for as long as it's peaceful for you guys and okay yep. for you guys because black families on TV is what we need. Waka yep. in his place, you know, being the head of his household, taking care of his family yes. and you and your place, like we need more of that because they try to act like you know, our families are not together. They try to act like the men not yep. there and we simply live in a life know that that is not necessarily true. So please continue uh, allowing us into your homes, into your relationship, sp- mm-hmm. sharing all that spiritualness <laughs> vibe. I applaud y'all. I yes, really thank you so y'all. much. When I say I applaud y'all, I applaud y'all from a different level. I know both of y'all personally for years. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you know, Ashley, I don't know if you know this, Tammy, she, she's been casted many of times to be on different TV shows as well. And mm-hmm. every time we get to like that point before we like sign off, we're like, do we have <laughs> people in our lives that much? It's like we, we have mastered the art of living a very public, private life. Right, right. A lot right. of times, once you get signed that, now we know things are situation based and things are for ratings. I'm like, I don't know if I want that, but y'all are y'all are making it work. Like, I'm because afraid. I feel like it's, I mean, because once you real, okay, you once when you real and you you honestly who you are and you're transparent, ain't nothing can can you know. Right. You just got to be real. What when you should be afraid is when you when you're trying to portray something on TV that you're not. Yeah, as yeah. long as you keep it authentic. We done been through, I, I, me and him both have been through a lot, not only just in our relationship, but outside our relationship. Like, Understood. you know what I'm saying? So ain't nothing, uh, TV doesn't, it's nothing on TV that can break us. It's mm-hmm. all the other stuff. That yeah. we, if we don't get broke, it's TV. Like, yeah, Sometimes, it's like, TV ain't nothing compared to been, real life. <laughs> there have mm-hmm. been couples before that I would hear like, oh, they're about to do TV. And I would be like, no, 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 I don't want them to do that because I love them. I want them to stay together. Would you say that those couples already had like issues like as far as like TV can't break right, it up or they would just fresh. weaken it? They, I think fresh. it's either oh, it, it could be that they're too, too fresh. fresh. It can also be that, you know, they do have some type of issues. And then you have to understand, like, see, with us, We've had, you know, TV shows. We've done TV shows, and the TV mm-hmm. show, you know, like, and you, I, I don't do the the, the fake. Like, you're not gonna 
tell us, first of all, this is my this is my livelihood. This is my family. This is real life for me. That's the conversation Outside I have with the producers when they're trying to cast ass. I'm like, nah, like we know our life. Y'all not great mm-hmm. have us on TV looking crazy for rating. Mm-hmm. We don't need the money, so we're not doing because it. For it reason. becomes your life for real, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it you becomes your like, energy around. It you. does, but you just gotta know how to check. Like, you know, one time a producer came to walk into a walk or something and came back and told me, you know, something. And I, I pulled her up and I said, So what you say to her? And he like, I said, I'm like, okay. And I had to let her know, listen, that's not what we do. Like, yeah, this is not there's a con- if there's a conversation you have with me, you have with him as well. We don't want to pour. So at the end of the day, it's beyond, I mean. It's, beyond, it's just like having a, like having friendships. Like you're not going to go on TV and or go to a party and air your friend's business out just because you're on TV. No, you won't be solid. You keep it. So for me, TV don't scare me because I'm so, how I am on TV is how I am off TV. Right. And you get yeah. what you get. You and know? you get run up. If <laughs> you can walk up, walk like, yeah. Tammy <laughs> says, so you be like, did you just say that? Yeah. Walk well, crazy, man. <laughs> y'all both great. I love both of y'all, man. So man, well, in the second season, a lot of times when 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 they get spinoffs, they get one season, and then they they get canceled because the ratings weren't good. But the fact that they brought you back for a second season show that people are watching and the revenue is yeah. coming in, uh, so congratulations, man! We're very proud of y'all. We're rooting for y'all. Yes, Thank you. Thank Tammy, you. we're gonna get some more music, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So in the show, <laughs> I'm gonna release some music. Um, I have, I think the next, I'm trying to decide if I want to release Baby Mama, um, yeah. which is another inside of my life that you guys are going to find out on this season. Nice. Uh, but I have, I have over 30 songs. Okay. Yeah. And they, I'm just, I think I, they got to, they got to get released. <laughs> Okay. And we need something for more Walker too. Walker, I don't want to hear that stuff. I'm done rapping stuff. No I more. know. I keep hearing that. I don't ever want to hear that again. No, I'm about to get ready for something now. All right. Can I, I just do. tell you that um, one time I drove to South Carolina from the 757 on a Tuesday night and caught a flat tire just to see you perform oh, wow. at a club. <laughs> and I had to get back to work in time and I was late for work. But I was like, yo, why was it lit? Be a- it uh, was yeah. definitely lit. Rock <laughs> shows be like rock concerts, man. It just oh, it, I had to go. You have to experience it in person, like, and I will never yeah. forget that because it was like a random Tuesday, and you just had those friends that was down. And we was out to see. You, yeah, like. yeah, you was that fast. Yo, you was yeah. like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> y'all crazy. Why well, good Tammy? Thank you, aka Hot Sexy Mama. That's her new name, y'all. Nah, y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all. Hey, Let's make it trend right now. You know, if it's on social media, it's real. Tammy has changed her name to Hot Sexy no. Mama. So y'all know make what that means. Trend. Hashtag hot sexy mama and watch them <laughs> this Thursday on TV and tell them quick and diva sent you. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Man. Have All a right, blessed one. Take care, guys. And hey, real quick, while we catch y'all, can y'all do a quick drop for us? Whatever. You know, this is Walking Tammy. We're rocking a quick silver show with Dominica Diva. Okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is your girl Tammy. This is Walking Flocker. And we rocking with Quicksilver and Dominica Diva. Mm-hmm. Hot sexy mama <laughs> said so. <laughs> Look, y'all gonna have to let that ride, all right? <laughs> oh, I ain't letting her ride, Tammy. I'm changing. I'm, back. I'm changing her name. My phone walking the hot sexy mama. Then she Yo, gonna text me. My wife can be like, "Who the hell who is the hell that?" Hot sexy mama. Tammy. <laughs> oh, all right. She good. She good. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all, ladies. I'm right, watching y'all. the show. So, come back. Right, thank you, babe. Okay. All right, fam. All right.